What's up, kimchi lovers? Today, Marie and I are gonna be tourists in our own city. We're gonna be going to the Navy Pier because they're closing down until further notice. So we wanna go there, walk around, see some stuff, and have some treats. Let's see what we find. See you there. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Hi, cheers. What do you get? Oh, it's good. I know you. I know what you got. I'm gonna give you guys three seconds to guess what I got. Old fashioned. Yeah, I got an old fashioned. It's, it's my favorite Always. drink. Yeah. That's my favorite drink. So right now we're at the offshore rooftop bar. Um, we have never been up here before. Uh, we usually go to the bars on the lower level, but Maria's like, hey, there's a rooftop bar in the Navy Pier. Yeah. They have a lot of space up here. We're spaced out. Oh, sweet. sweet! Our stuff arrived. Thank you. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, let me try the taquitos. The taquitos look really good, actually. But like I said, what I find funny is like they took a, a full-length taquito and cut it in. <laughs> Here we go. and views are great. The maki? Well, not so much. <laughs> Before we get to more eating, did you know the Navy Pier was called Municipal Pier when it opened in 1916? When the U.S. declared war on Germany less than a year later, the pier was adapted for military use. And during World War II, it played an even bigger role and over 60,000 military personnel trained here. It finally reopened to the public in the 90s and it continued welcoming millions of visitors since then. Back to the food. Billy Goat Tavern might not serve the most gourmet burgers, but it holds a special place in the hearts of Chicagoans. The original tavern opened in 1934 by Greek immigrant William Billy Goat Cianis. He got his nickname when he adopted a goat that wandered inside his tavern. The same famous goat that William tried to get into a Cubs game back in 1945. And because the goat wasn't allowed, he supposedly cursed the team out of winning the World Series. And the Cubs have finally won it all! Eight, seven, and ten! So, this is a very interesting burger because it's a, it's a double patty. I don't know if you guys noticed, it's a double patty. And they sandwich all the uh, fixings between the two patties. Normally, it would be a patty, cheese, another patty, and then all the other stuff like pickles, onions, and whatever. But here, they put it in between, which is interesting. So, what I'm having today is a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. No Pepsi Coke. <laughs> I think that's actually from like a SNL skit. What do you want? I have a cheeseburger and a small Coke. Uh, no, uh, no Coke, uh, Pepsi. Pepsi. Why cheeseburger? Because it's Pepsi. Pepsi. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger for Pepsi, too cheap. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Mm. I, I don't know what kind of bread this is. Maybe like a French bread? But yeah, you would definitely have to go with a double, a double patty burger, because if you just went with a single, you'd get too much bread, like, you get more of the bread flavor than the, the beef. But like, this is really good. I also noticed that the pickles are huge. Yeah, those are some big slices of pickles. Like, almost the same size of the patty. <laughs> I don't know why Maria is willingly doing this. <laughs> uh, you know, it had to be done. <laughs> I, I did it the first time when we arrived in Chicago because it's a first timer's thing to do. Yes. And uh, this is Maria willingly choosing to do this. <laughs> willingly. This tastes like ashtrays. But if you're, if you're coming to Chicago, you have to take a shot of Malort. It's mandatory. It, yeah, it's mandatory. If you're coming to Chicago, Malort's on the menu. <laughs> you sure you don't want one? No. No? No, thank you. 
Hay para arriba, para abajo, para el centro y para adentro. That was terrible. That's so bad. I need to eat something like right now. Alright guys, so we had to get chicken from Big City Chicken because apparently it's one of the best in town. <laughs> Those are some huge tenders. Mm -hmm. So Chicago has a lot of famous chicken places. Uh, one of them is Harold's Chicken, which we did a video on. Also, uh, like right Uncle, here. Uncle Remus, <laughs> Uncle Remus too. has some really good chicken. They do tenders as well. well I prefer the tenders. Maria prefers the wings. Yeah. And uh, Big City Chicken, we heard about it. We heard it was good, so we decided to try some. And these are just really big. Like, yeah, these are really big, like really fat. So, uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you found the, the one small one the one in between all the big yeah. ones. <laughs> oh, I can hear the crunch. Mm. It looks good. There, let me try, let me try a piece. I'm just gonna try it by itself just to get a, a taste of what it tastes, tastes like. Oh, you wanna try that by itself? Mmm. Oh, wow. It's super moist. I think it's even better than Chick-fil-A. Yeah, that is super, super moist. Right? And wow. And very crispy too. And we're and we're fans of Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but this is at a different level. Yeah, we're big fans of Chick-fil-A. Wow, this is really, really good. Try this. I mean just <laughs> Cross it cools it down. Right? Whoa. That is really good homemade honey mustard. We've lived in Chicago for eight years now, and it's crazy how much this place has changed. The options for food alone are very nice. Everything from carnival type treats, to hot dogs, deep dish, and restaurants like Riva and Harry Carey's. There's even a children's museum up here. We really do hope it doesn't stay closed for too long. All these uh, physics formulas, they teach you like fluid viscosity and all that stuff and that's why water retains like that perfect cylindrical shape and it arcs because of uh, gravity. Yeah, really I cool. fail I, I fail at physics, so <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't about. fail at it, but I didn't do great at it either. <laughs> Two large rainbow bowls. <laughs> Cheers. I don't even know what's in here. But... Yeah, it's like, so you got orange sherbet, pistachio, I think it's a Palmer house, strawberry, and chocolate. Mm. It actually tastes good with combining, mixing all the flavors. So one of the things you need to get when you come to Chicago, and you can also get at the Navy Pier, is, I don't know if you can see it. Garrett's. Uh, Garrett's popcorn. And um, it's the Garrett's mix, which is yeah. caramel and cheese. Yeah, that's the, I think it's like the Chicago mix. It's caramel or caramel and cheese. And, uh, and fun fact, we actually found a Garrett's in Osaka, Japan. Yeah, you, you can go to Japan, they have one there. And it's just caramel coated popcorn. Mmm. So that salty and sweet combo works really well. I don't know if you can see that. I got a cheese one there. And to end on a sweet note where we started this very journey today, we're gonna end with a churro. From churro? From churro. <laughs> <laughs> you can get here on like the rooftop or the top part of the Navy Pier. 
right, uh, right, right next to the, the Ferris, Ferris wheel. wheel. Yeah, which we wanted to take a ride today, but uh, it shut down. I can understand why. So this is a simple vanilla filled churro. And I'm gonna let my wife take the first bite. Yeah. Ladies first. Mm. Good? I heard, I heard that crunch. I heard mm. that crunch. That cream inside of the churro is really good. Mmm. Tastes like pudding, like vanilla pudding. So it's nice and crispy, and it's sweet. I think a lot, uh, a lot of the churros that I've had haven't been this sweet. <laughs> How was that day of eating, man? Oh man, I'm exhausted. It takes so much energy to eat like that. And since Maria and I don't eat a lot, that was a lot of food for us. Yeah, we didn't have breakfast. We got here like around two. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we're eating tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and we have leftovers, check it out. We got leftover chicken, popcorn, churro. Leftover chicken, popcorn, and churro. Yeah, because we get <laughs> kimchi and beans chop edition. <laughs> Can you imagine? But make something out of leftover chicken, churros, and popcorn. But yeah, it was nice coming oh, here. It, it, it was nice coming here and getting a glimpse of normality. Yeah, even though tiny bit. everybody's wearing masks, which I'm really proud of because we need to. We really need to do our part to make things go back to normal. And hopefully they'll reopen Navy Pier again soon. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.